Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Jedi Modi Sports Betting. In this video, I'm giving you my NBA best bets for today. So we're looking at Thursday, April 20th. Happy 420 day, everybody. What we're doing is hammering some NBA bets. So I got five bets for you guys today that I absolutely love. Before we get into it, would appreciate it if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel, comment, let me know your thoughts, and then of course, like the video. And if you want to find me on social media, you can at my Twitter handle you see on the screen here, at Jedi Modi. As I mentioned, I got five picks for today's NBA betting slate, two point spreads, one first half point spread, one player prop, and then one dart throw that I really like. Let's get right into it. The first play that we have here tonight is in the first game that we are looking at in the Sixers versus Nets. And we are locking in the Nets plus five, minus 110 odds that would be best offered on Caesars Sportsbook. So one of my NBA playoff betting strategies is that when a team goes down 2-0, they cover the spread at like a 60% rate in game three. It feels gross because they're down 2-0, but they get the home court advantage. And then of course, they're just playing with a little bit a heightened sense of urgency because they're down 2-0. Now this is also going to be um, satisfied in the Kings versus Warriors game. That one's a little bit different, which we, which we will get into. But for this one, we are riding with the Nets plus five, minus 110 odds at Caesars. You know, the value here on this play, I do really like looking at Sharp Sportsbook's pinnacle has this at four and a half. Circa Vegas Sharp Sportsbook has this at four and a half. Other Sharp Sportsbooks that have it at five still favor the Nets at that number, right? We see Bet Online price this at minus 115 towards the Nets side, minus 105 towards the Sixer side, and we see other Sharp Sportsbooks also have this at four and a half. So there is a little bit of value on this play as well. With how bad James Harden looked in game two. I'm not confident that the Sixers will be able to survive another stinker from him. And even in game one, he looked great because he hit seven three-pointers. Not necessarily something you can rely on. So when a team plays at home, their shooters shoot a little bit better. Their defensive intensity is up a little bit more. And the Sixers, you know, they had this exact same scenario last year. They went up 2-0 in the series, went to Toronto, won that game by exactly three in double overtime on a Joel Embiid buzzer beater. So we have history of the Sixers not necessarily playing as well in game three. So play number one, we are riding with the Nets plus five, minus 110 odds at Caesars. Next up, heading to the Kings versus Warriors game. This is a situation where I'm going to fade that betting strategy, and we are going to take the Kings plus six. Now, this game is unique for a bunch of different reasons. Obviously, the most notable one, Draymond Green's out. He's a huge, hugely important piece of that Warriors team. Defensively, obviously he's like their best defender, him and Wiggins. Offensively, his playmaking, his two-man game with Steph is very important. And, you know, if Mikael Bridges or Cam Johnson or whoever was out for the Nets, I would change my mind a little bit. But in this case, the Kings plus six is actually the play here. And again, we're betting on value at the end of the day. Six points is what the Kings are getting, minus 110 odds at Caesars. Look at every other book. Literally every other book has it four plus five and a half. And that's a big deal in the grand scheme of things. If you're if you're familiar with this YouTube channel, we talk a ton about how these small half point advantages can add up a ton in the long run. So just because we are beating the closing line by half a point doesn't mean that that is a minuscule amount. So play number two, we are locking in the Kings plus six minus 110 odds at Caesars. And for my third play, we are locking in the Clippers first half spread plus one and a half minus 110 odds at DraftKings, also offered at Betway as well. The value here, pretty good. Pinnacle prices this at minus 125, the other side of that at plus 110. It's only 15 cents of juice being charged to the Pinnacle market, and we're getting this all the way at minus 110 at DraftKings. So in this case, none of my playoff betting strategies were, were satisfied because this series is tied one to one with Suns winning game two and tying it up. But I really do like the value here. The Clippers going back home have a chance to take a pretty important two to one lead winning their first game at home. So we are going to ride with the Clippers here plus one and a half first half point spread minus 110 odds at DraftKings. In terms of my player prop, I've gone with it in both games of the Sixers Nets series and we are riding with it again. Joel Embiid over three and a half assists. This is best offered at minus 110 odds at BetMGM. 
he criminally didn't hit this in the game one. He smashed it in the game two. I'm expecting him to have another game where he's going to have a good passing game as well. And the value supports it as well. Minus 110 at BetMGM. We see Bet Online has it all the way up at minus 130. We see Pinnacle has it all the way up at minus 146. So we are getting a pretty good price on this one. And I do think the Nets, the way they play defense in the first two games, I don't necessarily see why they would change that strategy, despite the fact that they're down 2-0 and Bede hasn't scored in the 30s in either of these games. Game one, Tobias had 21. Harden had 22. The Sixers set a playoff franchise record for three-pointers made in a game. In game two, Harden was terrible. Maxi went off for 30 points. Now, yes, the Sixers are good. They have players that can do that. But I think that the Nets are just going to trust that the Sixers role players won't continually be able to beat them, especially now that the Nets are going to be at home down 2-0. So I do really like this play. Joel Embiid over three and a half assists, minus 110 odds at bet MGM. And then for my dart throw, we're locking in Sabonis to record a triple-double, plus 750 odds at FanDuel. This is really just a value play. We see uh, bet MGM and Caesars price it pretty aggressively below the FanDuel number. Now Sabonis, this is really just betting on if he gets 10 assists or not. He's probably going to get 10 points. He's like minus 600 to get 10 points. He's probably going to get 10 rebounds because he's just been killing the Warriors on the offensive glass. So we're really just betting on him to get 10 plus assists. Uh, for the value here, I will throw a little bit on it. Now I will say every other play I put a full unit on. Every play so far I put a unit on. For this one, I'm just putting on a quarter of a unit. Obviously the plus 750 odds, you're going to want to unit size that down a little bit. So this is my fifth and final play for this video, the dart throw. It's a bonus to record a triple-double, but that is it. So I appreciate everybody for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit me up on social media, and that's it. So again, thanks for watching, and have a good one.